Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a full face with all expired products. Trust me, this is going to go... Mm. I already look like a red tomato and I don't want to look like a worse one. Yeah. So, my skin naturally has a bunch of acne like on my jaw lines and I, and I get like random ones like all over my face. But it's been clearing up compared to like what I went through in, high, in middle school and high school. So hopefully it doesn't go that bad. So before we get to this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. So I have this full box and some products down here. All expired makeup. And trust me, it's not good. We have, we have foundation, primer, a broken bronzer, Lipsticks, an eyeshadow, a stick liquid eye highlighter. No! We have some eyeshadows, eyeliner, brow Pompeii thingy majigger, eyeshadow primer, lipsticks, more lipsticks, another lipstick, coloring stick, and these are very old beauty blender thingy majiggers. So, so. Let's get started. So first of all, we need to prime this face. And the only primer I have is this one. It's a Smashbox Photo Finish in the color green. Guys, it feels like I'm putting on oil on my skin. Like, ugh, oh my gosh. This is not going well. Like, naturally, I'm a very oily person. And I don't think it's going to work with any of the foundations I have. So, oh. Uh -huh. Next, we have like five different foundations. So instead of just picking one, I'm going to be mixing it all up and just put it on my face. Because why not? I'm just going to use like this old like little brush and we're just going to mix it all up. And it feels very weird. So guys, here's going to be a little life update and stuff like that. I know I made a video of like what I've been doing and stuff like that. So it's now it's May and I just finished completing my first year of college and it's, it's pretty cool not gonna lie having the experience of going away like going out of my area and just experiencing like college itself in a different in a different perspective and it was very fun i do recommend it you get to meet a lot of friends like i did along the way you get to see for yourself who you really are and what you really want to do in the future because when I started off before going to college, I wanted to be a doctor. But ever since my first year, I've really considered what my options were and everything. And now I'm thinking other routes. Not too sure yet, but I just know there's, there's other routes in for me and what I feel like might be possible. The one thing that like really, really sucked was that I missed out on finishing my freshman year at an actual college. Because of this whole entire situation that's been going on. And I just had to pack up and bring everything back to back home. Yeah, it's a struggle, but we had to make a lot of sacrifices and a lot of changes for the greater good. And I'm happy about that. I just can't wait to see what my future holds. If we're going back, if it's possible, if schools can re reopening and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm done like just blending this all in. And I have my mirror like right over here. And okay, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like my skin is flawless. I'm trying, like I'm really trying with all everything that's going on. But hopefully it doesn't sting or itch or anything like that. So growing up, I never liked concealer. So that's why I don't have concealer with me right now. So we're gonna skip the concealer part and we're gonna go straight to the powder. Ulta Beauty, like the double duty stuff like that. And I have this Fit Me, uh, Fit Me concealer. This is way too dark for me, so we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use this powder, and it's like a loose powder. And I know a lot of people love this powder a lot, but I don't like this powder. I don't. It it makes me look like a cake, literal cake, and I do not like it. So I'm just applying like all the powder all over my face. Don't apply too much because I feel like I overdid it with the powder, and that's gonna come I look like a cake. But we're just going on the wrong way. So next up, 
in my process of all of this, we have bronzer. I have this Ulta Beauty one, which is like all broken. I have this Sephora one, and I will be using this one a whole lot more since this one's broken and doesn't really come out of my skin. It doesn't really show on my skin a lot, so we're just going to use this. Taking a brush, I'll be lightly tapping into this because this has a lot of pigment. With this whole entire situation of corona and everything, well, class of 2020 graduating, if you're either a senior or a college student, you guys are not going to be able to experience your graduation, which is pretty tough because that's like four years of what you've done either high school or college just waiting to get that diploma that you spend countless hours studying doing one college you're you're studying probably doing having a job probably doing internships if you're going into like different fields and stuff like that and in high school you did four years of extracurricular activities band chess sports anything in general and you're just waiting to get that diploma and fully say that you graduated from high school and ready to start off your new field so i say in my my little advice i would say don't 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 beat yourself up that this whole entire thing is happening that you're not seeing your friends and everything because you're not just not seeing your friends you have technology you have the resources get zoom i know google has like the like a new version of like like a zoom thing netflix parties you guys can do a bunch of i know a bunch of apps that youtubers are um promoting that you guys can do games virtually like, like it's so much fun and you can do you can do so much and just having technology there for you doesn't make doesn't make it harder for you to do anything it's there to help you out i just applied i guess a layer of bronzer and it looks pretty cool, like, real, but in person, it looks decent, like. Am I going to the Met Gala? Hashtag 2021. So the next thing we're gonna do is blush. I've always looked like a red tomato, so I always thought that putting on blush would enhance the redness in my cheeks. So, since I don't have blush to begin with, like, even right now, I don't use blush. We're gonna be using an old lipstick I have, and we're gonna try to make this work. So we're gonna be using this one. This is the color and the shade. This is the wet and wild ones. These are like the 99 cents ones you can get like at any drugstore and stuff like that. Even Ulta Beauty has these. But yeah, so we're just going to dab a little bit. Just a little because this is like a pretty pigmented. Dab a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like right here. And on my mirror, it looks pretty good to be honest. So maybe I'll start trying blush. Blending does make a difference. <laughs> Okay, that's gonna be it because I do not want to make myself look like an Oompa Loompa. Next thing we're gonna be doing is eyebrows. I have this pomade thing and that looks very, very bad, but this is my only angle brush and it's so bad, it's so ugly, but we're gonna use it. And I have no spoolie, so this is gonna be fun. Okay, that looks somewhat decent, but you know what? It's fine. So before we get on to the other one, we're just going to pause for a little bit. And here are going to be some helpful tips for incoming freshmen into, honestly, any university. It's not the university just for me. If you're not staying in your area, the one thing that I do recommend for all of you to be aware of is going to be culture shock. I had a huge culture shock and so did everyone else that I've ever met that went into my university. The one thing out of the culture shock is to not, not change who you are just to please others. Stay true to yourself and trust me, you will find friends. Another thing along with culture shock is putting yourself out there. Get involved in so many organizations because trust me, where I went, there's over 10,000 organizations and if you could not find your organization, make one. Get a group of friends, find someone, be passionate about it, and you're gonna find friends, you're gonna make memories. It just takes time. And that's like one of the biggest things I would like to tell anyone anyone going into A&M, any university. You never know, what if the person sitting next to you is not even from your area, it's from another state or another country that decided to come here. But if you don't take the chance, you never find out. So that's one of the key things I like to say. And another thing is, do not be afraid to change your major don't be that person that said i'm not changing my major i'm not doing this but then again you're filming every class and you're you're only hurting yourself in the end do what you like 
don't think about the money think about the future that you could possibly have if you just change that one little major thank you for coming to my TED talk now for the next brow hey yeah so here's my two eyebrows they're not the best i don't know how to do eyebrows so please do not comment on down below that they're not e they're not sisters they're not even friends they're not even related it's gonna be this eyeshadow primer it is from nyx and i've had this since my sophomore year of high school so we're gonna see how well this plays out i like to grab a little bit on my finger and just put it all over my eyelid i think that's like the easiest way to go I have two eyeshadow palettes here that are my oldest in my oldest in my collection. This is the first one. It is the Makeup Revolution one. I have this tiny elf one. I'm going to be using this this shade right here and I'm just going to be packing it on. I have one of my little brushes. Now that I put that first shade down, a light brown shade so in this palette i'm going to be choosing this brown shade on the big fluffy brush so i like to use this windshield wiper motion thingy majigger on my eyelids just to blend everything so here we go just blend 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 so after that first layer i guess we have the blending so now we're going to be adding a darker layer to the outer corners of my eyes. This one right here, this is the only matte one. So we're going to be getting that with one of these little brushes. It's like a little flatter one. Getting a little bit and then just blend it like a little V and just blend. If that, if I feel like, wow, it's dark. So it's pretty dark. So I would like to just blend as much as possible. I guess we're going to be going for a smoky eye now, so... Oh no. I just try to blend as much as possible and it looks very very patchy. I don't know who else anyone else has this but like around right here. None of my eyeshadows ever stick on there even though I try blending like so much like right now. It doesn't stick. I don't know why they never do and it looks super patchy. Let's do the other eye. This eye looks a whole lot better, but that's because I, I did way less eyeshadow. So I'm going to try to blend this one as much as possible, even though it looks very, very patchy. I can't blend it, so we're going to have to add more eyeshadow onto that side just to make it look even. Okay, that's as close as I'm going to get to because, wow. So next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get one of those little flat brushes and I'm going to dip it into my gold color I have right here. I dipped it in. I have some gold on here. Setting spray on it to make it a little bit more pigmented and I'll just be putting this on the inner corner of my eyelid. That's one. It's supposed to be like a half cut crease but not really but you know what? Yeah. So we're gonna do the other eye right now. So now that we have our eyeshadow, the glitter goldy kind, I'm gonna go back with my first uh my first eyeshadow that we did and i'm just gonna blend it all over i'm gonna cancel out all the harsh lines that we have on top eyes okay and that's my finished eyeshadow thingy so now we're gonna do eyeliner now here's the thing i have this eyeliner but i'm not gonna put that on my face i actually tried filming this video twice already this is my third time and every single time this thing has this thing has landed into my eyes and have made them so red and so burning for about an hour and I am not going to take the chance again. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to spray a little bit and since this Makeup Revolution palette has like a black I guess color right here, I'm going to dip into this and I'm going to try to create eyeliner with that. Okay, I see a little bit coming along but I think I need more liquid on this. So that's eyeshadow and it looks pretty good. It actually looks like if I actually used eyeliner, but I didn't. So we're going to do this eye now. Oh my god, guys, 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 guys. This actually looks pretty good. And this is the first time I've ever done my... i never done eyeliner on both of my eyes and come out actually decent. Like, wow. I'm very proud of myself. 
Before I lose any confidence, let's go on right to lips. So for my lips today, obviously all I have is like my little Wet n Wild 99 cents ones. So I chose this color. It's like a dark berry color. It doesn't really come out like that on camera, but let's just apply. So here are the lips that came out. I really like this color. I feel like if I actually knew how to do like makeup in general with eyeshadow and all of this, I would be doing glam and every day, but clearly I don't know how to do anything. So this is pretty good. The last step of all of this is to use my highlighter. And this is one of the stick highlighters and I just like using this with little finger, so getting my little finger, getting it there, high points of my face like right here. And I just like mixing it in a bit. So guys, this is a full face using all expired makeup. I'm gonna take this off right away because I do not want any acne to be forming under this even though it's been like about an hour filming. Yeah, so thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Guys, it's been about six hours. And I already have a little mountain growing on me. This is not gonna go well.